Our main goal with this question is to help boost your cognitive skills, making you smarter and more intelligent. Try tackling this question on your own before I share my answer and explanations. Give it your best shot and see how close you can get. I know you can do this. You're presented with four expressions. 3 multiplied by 374 equals 21. 4 multiplied by 137 equals 82. 5 multiplied by 731 equals 5. And then last one, 3 multiplied by 573 equals the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 9. Choice B, 10. Choice C, 12. And last but not least, choice D, 16. In this practice exercise, I agree with you on one thing. This question isn't easy, but it's not too difficult either. My advice to you, don't just rewind to the answer. Remember, you are here to learn. Can you do me a favor? Challenge your brain now. This problem is manageable. Give yourself a chance to solve it on your own. Can you give it your best shot? And guess what? I am here to boost your motivation if you need it. Remember Epictetus? He was a Greek Stoic philosopher who taught that personal freedom and happiness come from self-discipline and mastering one's own mind. His teachings motivate us to strive for self-improvement and resilience in the face of life's challenges. I especially liked his quote, No man is free who is not master of himself. Persevere and find your strength. From this amazing quote, you can learn that true freedom comes from self-mastery and by persevering through challenges. And if you work on solving this problem yourself, there is a very high chance that you will also discover and strengthen your inner capabilities. Was it helpful? I see. Let me give you a hint to boost your confidence that you can achieve mastery. Obviously, by now you already guessed that this is not a real expression. But there are still math rules that apply to some parts of it, which you can use to do the calculations. So the first number in the first expression is number 3. Then comes the number 374. What if, just what if you use the first number and then one digit of the second number? I'll let you decide which one. I know you've got it now. Take a little time to solve this question and find the answer. Remember, it's perfectly okay to pause the video and think about the problem. And I have full confidence that you can solve it on your own. You've got this. Time's up. Are you ready to share your answer? I hope you gave it your best shot. Now let's compare our answers. And remember, the best way for you to improve is through daily practice. Research shows that doing cognitive exercises for at least 21 days leads to meaningful progress. So visit YouTube daily, watch more videos and practice. You will see great improvements in your abilities and cognitive skills in just 21 days. As your cognitive skills improve, you will find that most solutions are easy to discover. All you need to do is just to detect the pattern. And the pattern here is very simple. To calculate the missing number, you need to multiply first single digit number by the last digit of the three digit number, and then reverse the digits of the resulting product. Let's look at the example to better understand what's happening. The first expression is 3 multiplied by 374 equals 21. To do the actual calculations, we need to take number 3 and then the last digit of the number 374, which is 4. Then you need to multiply 3 by 4 and the result would be 12. And then in the last step, we just need to reverse the digits of the 12. And 12 reversed is 21. Let's look at other expressions to confirm the pattern. 4 multiplied by 137 equals 4 multiplied by 7 and equals 28. 28 reversed is 82. 5 multiplied by 731 equals 5 multiplied by 1 and equals 5. Since 5 is a single digit number and cannot be reversed, it stays as 5. And as you might have guessed, this information would be very helpful to calculate the missing number. And guess what? Now is the magic time to calculate the missing number. 3 multiplied by 573 equals 3 multiplied by 3 and equals 9. So the correct answer here is just A, 9. You can't argue that you need to approach this problem like a detective solving a mystery. Each correct answer is a clue, and you're on your way for cracking this case of your brilliance. 
You are presented with three diamonds. Each diamond has numbers and letter inside. If we look across all three diamonds, at 9 o'clock we have numbers 1, 2 and 3. If we look at 12 o'clock, we have numbers 2, 3 and 4. At 3 o'clock, we have numbers 3, 4 and 5. And at 6 o'clock, there are letters X, E, and then comes the missing letter. I assume it's letter. What do you think? What's interesting here is that if you also look across each diamond, you see the pattern clockwise. In the first diamond, the pattern is 1, 2, 3, and then comes the letter X. In the second diamond, there might be a pattern 2, 3, and 4, and then comes the letter E. And then in the third diamond, the numbers are 3, 4, and 5, and then comes missing something. Well, I'll correct myself. I think missing something is a letter, because we have four possible choices for the answer. Choice A, letter B. Choice B, letter C. Choice C, letter D. And then last but not least, choice D, letter E. Well, I totally agree with you that this is a tricky question. Remember though, you are not navigating this path alone, and I am here to help, as well as other subscribers on this channel. Take a moment to gather your thoughts, tap into your imaginative side, and let's triumph over this challenge together. Your solution almost ready and is definitely within reach. Are you ready to unveil your solution? I am eager to see it, so let's proceed and compare the answers. I think the pattern here is that the bottom letter is the last letter in the sum of all the digits. Let's look at the example. In the first diamond, we have numbers 1, 2, and 3. The sum of 1, 2, and 3 is 6, which is verbally spelled as S-I-X, and the last letter of the word 6 is X. This is how X was calculated. Let's look at the second diamond. In the second diamond, the digits are 2, 3, and 4, and the letter is E. 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 9, and in the word 9, the last letter is E. Now let's calculate the missing letter. In the third diamond, the digits are 3, 4, and 5. 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 12, and the last letter in the word 12 is E. So the correct answer here is choice D, E. <sighs> It's hard to deny, but with this question, we have to embrace the uncertainty of not knowing the answer. But keep in mind, though, that doing your best in trying to solve this question is also a chance for you to showcase your resilience and problem-solving skills. You're presented with four squares. Each square has four numbers inside. The first square has numbers 17, 15, 34, and 11. The second square has numbers 12, 18, 28 and 19. The third square has numbers 21, 10, 30 and 16. And then comes the fourth square which has numbers 27, 17, 25 and then comes the missing number which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A 8, choice B 23, choice C 26 and last but not least choice D 31. Do you think it's a tough challenge? Well, the solution might be simpler than you think. Let me show you the pattern. Look, all numbers here are two-digit numbers. And then choice A is only one digit, so probably we can eliminate it. Wouldn't you agree? And then you have a 33.3% .3 of solving this question by just selecting one of the answers B through D. Obviously, it was a joke. This question may or may not have the pattern that's easy to understand. But instead of thinking how hard it is to solve this question, I would like you to start thinking out of the box. Rest assured, you're not trying to solve this question alone. Regardless of your expertise in problem solving, I believe in your abilities. Pause for a moment, harness your creativity, and let's face this challenge together. The answer is just waiting for you to be discovered. Are you ready to showcase your solution? Let's get into it and see how our answers match up. And even if you don't have the answer, don't get discouraged. Keep your spirits up even if you're unsure. Every question, whether answered correctly or not, is a chance for you to gain valuable insights and refine your skills for future success. The pattern in this question is rather simple. Sum of all the numbers inside of each square equals 77. Let's look at the example. In the first square, if we add up 17, 15, 
11 and 34. The end result of this is 77. Let's confirm it with the second square. 12 plus 18 plus 19 plus 28 also equals 77. Believe it or not, but in third square, 21 plus 10 plus 16 plus 30 also equals 77. Now we can calculate the missing number. We need to do calculations a little differently here. 27 plus 17 plus 25 equals 69. 77 minus 69 equals 8. So the correct answer here is choice A, 8. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ, and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this, and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to download the materials related to this topic. I really appreciate your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.